So let's talk a bit about um, using glutathione in your nebulizer. Um, a lot of people have issues. If you're doing glutathione in the nebulizer, you're going to be using most likely 500 to 1500 milligrams of the glutathione powder. So the reduced glutathione, you're going to be putting it in here and you're going to be using baking soda. You can add um, a little bit of distilled water as well. That'll really help it to mix. But those are your main three ingredients. Some people ask, can you put liposomal glutathione in here? I mean, you 100% can, but the whole point of taking liposomal is that you don't need to um, do it rectally and you don't need to use a nebulizer because it just goes straight into your bloodstream um, a lot easier than reduced glutathione. So if reduced glutathione obviously is cheaper, that's why people buy it in bulk or they buy the pills because it's easier to maintain. When you get um, the liposomal glutathione, um, because it absorbs into your bloodstream so easily and so quickly, um, you know, it costs a little bit more and you get a smaller bottle. So anyways, when you're mixing, definitely get a small mixing bowl. This is actually like 99 cents from Walmart. You can find it in, on their travel aisle or you could order some or um, like go to Amazon, see like lip balm jars. It's literally like a 22 milliliter jar. And usually I do my mixing in the cap and I sprinkle out my glutathione. I add a little bit of distilled water and then a pinch of baking soda. The baking soda is what is going to allow you to mix the glutathione and have it dissolve. Some people say, oh, I see silt in the bottom of my nebulizer. And if you're seeing a lot of silt and you feel like you're wasting it, like you're done, all the water is gone, you've nebulized it all, and you're still seeing a lot of silt, obviously you don't, the silt is just the glutathione and you definitely don't want to waste that. Um, so I would either scoop it out, <laughs> put it in your mouth, you know, do something with it. But ultimately, you don't want there to be a lot of residue in the bottom. You want it to dissolve. So I would say just kind of scale back on the amount of glutathione that you're using. So if you're usually trying to do 2000 milligrams of glutathione in this teeny tiny 6cc, like look how small this is, 6cc little jar, then obviously that's too much. So scale it back to maybe 1500 milligrams of glutathione or scale it back to a thousand. And um, you know, I know it sucks because you kind of just want to take as much as you can and you know, get this 35 to 40 minute process going. But I mean, there are drawbacks to using the nebulizer, just like there are drawbacks to um, doing a rectal implant. Um, if you want the quickest Plus free method of taking your glutathione, you're gonna um, invest in getting liposomal. But for a lot of people, that might be too much money. So that's why I'm sharing other options. Um, and yeah, you just need to maybe just use a little bit less glutathione. Um, definitely when you're using the uh, baking soda, it's literally just a pinch. Like you take it in between your fingers and you just pinch it in there and then you'll see it'll start to bubble up and um, you can use regular water you don't have to use distilled water but for machines like nebulizers um, even like sometimes for like you know the aromatherapy essential oil machines some people are just like using distilled water to keep it um, filtered cleaner but it's just all up to you but yeah you need a little bit of water and um, your glutathione and a pinch of the baking soda. The baking soda is used. <laughs> the baking soda is used to dissolve the glutathione. We're going to be talking about liposomal glutathione probably in the next video. Um, so usually when you're taking liposomal, it's it's liquid, and some people are like it doesn't taste good. And to be honest, I mean, no one is writing home like, oh my gosh, this liposomal tastes so nice. Like it kind of has almost an eggy type taste um yeah it's not the best because you're usually only taking maybe a tablespoon or two tablespoons at a time so either try to mix it into some apple juice or just try to put it in your mouth chug it down and then um follow it up with like a heavy liquid like milk or something i don't know something that will help you know flush out the taste uh sadly that just comes with liposomal it has a you know a distinct flavor um, the only two liposomal glutathione that I've tried have been the SHC glutathione brand that you can only get through ordering online and then the core brand, the MedCore brand on Amazon. 
and um, you know they they have slightly different tastes but you know it, it is what it is and if you guys have any questions just leave it down in the description below like I said when you're mixing it part of mixing it is getting you know a small enough jar that you can actually mix it easily um, I would take like a teaspoon or something small and just like go like that when you're mixing the baking soda and the water and the glutathione but yeah you definitely obviously wouldn't want to use like a large plate to mix this you want something really tiny and yeah after you're done just rinse it out and save it for later um with the nebulizer just remember you're not going to be able to do large amounts of glutathione in the nebulizer at one time you might get away with doing 2000 milligrams but that's really pushing it you're probably gonna have some still at the bottom after you're done um usually with the nebulizer it just works better in small doses so 500 to a thousand milligrams maybe 1500 milligrams 